A big night for football in the city of Steubenville. News 9 Summer Wilkinson was at the unveiling of the Calvin Jones statue and has more. Calvin Jones was a local football legend born and raised right here in Steubenville. And with the unveiling of a new statue, his life and legacy will now always live on. A piece of big red history now has a permanent home at Harding Stadium. Hundreds of family, friends and community members gathered to honor one of the best players to ever take the field for big red. We know all about his football. He's probably the greatest player to ever play at Harding Stadium. When it came to the classroom, he was always respected of the administration, the teachers and all people. But his athletic journey far surpassed his high school days. When attending the University of Iowa, he was a standout at the collegiate level. He was named to the first team All-American in 1953 and then again in 1954, even though he played that entire season with a broken wrist. That year, Calvin Jones was the first college player and the first African American to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Making history and breaking records, something Jones was no stranger to. In 1955, he was named Iowa's team captain. And while he was a great player, he was described by others as an even better person. But he was so kind. He was a big guy, big guy. You know. But he was a kind person, you know. My grandmother, she instilled in us to always watch your character because it'll carry you further than anything. Jones's life was tragically cut short when he was just 23 years old after dying in a plane crash. And while this statue doesn't fill the empty void, it will from now on serve as a constant reminder of the legend that once walked this field. I'm glad the people in Steubenville are giving this honor to him because I'll tell you, he deserved it. And it was also declared tonight that from now on, August 24th will be Calvin Jones Day. Reporting in Steubenville, I'm Summer Wilkinson, News 9.